try to get back in the water. This time what I want to do is take you down towards this area just over here in front of the resort. It's much more of a sandy area in front of the resort there, but they seem to have set up some metal tables to grow coral, I guess to create a bit of an artificial reef. Let's go check those out. Big tones already in the water. Beer down, snorkeling here to come. Here's something really interesting. There's a fellow called Hadley, ever met him, Sydney Reefing. Uh, Hadley's uh, done a video about starting a upside down reef tank where the bottom of the tank is glass and he's got a suspended rock structure and planting Acropora facing down to an illuminated base of the tank. And the question being, will the corals grow down in I guess a negative geotropism form which is against the form of gravity. Well Hadley if you're out there check out this stag. Not only that there's another acropora completely growing up towards the light but also down. I'll show you. When I heard about Hadley doing this idea, I thought it was crazy. Coming from a horticulture background, we all know that when a plant tips over its pot, it, uh, it doesn't just lie flat, it sends shoots going straight up towards the light, but against gravity. And I assume that corals would do the same thing if tipped upside down or grown upside down. But quite clearly, if there's enough light from all directions, they will grow towards that light. For some reason the uh, reticulated or headband humbugs really love these open corals on these on these wire racks. I don't find them so much in the aquifera on the solid reef, but they're really common on these spacious, airy kind of or watery kind of racks. So over here, we've got corals that are hanging by a bit of rope or a bit of wire from the actual table itself. Check it out. Holy crap, I've been talking here for a good part of three hours and I've only just come across this giant boulder covered in leather coral.
to give you an idea that's the size of a Ford Ranger or if you're American a Ram truck there's a pipe fish down there I think it might be called a stout pipe fish. I'm not sure. It's poking around all that coral rubble. Just another example for a fantastic fish to keep in a coral rubble tank. Let me show you. And another one. These guys are actually really quite common in this rubble zone. I've seen three already. Oh, there's a there's an anchor tough fish down there uh cheer on anchorago they're the ones that have been known to use tools and they grab things like mussels and smash them against a coral or a rock to break them open down there he's moving stuff around let's go have a look And what's so cool to see is just how resilient these corals are. They can grow on a bit of string, they can grow on a metal rebar, they can grow on some weld mesh or a steel table. But it just goes to show how resilient our corals are and actually how wrong I, poss how wrong I possibly am with the concept of corals growing towards the light and not, maybe not necessarily needing the effect of gravity to orientate themselves. Anyway, I'll see you next time, short and sweet on the Australian Aquarist.